Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Night Riker here. Beautiful Friday morning. We have been hit with rain almost every day, on and off. And uh, it's good to be back on the Riker again today. Uh, it's supposed to be a pretty dry day, but you know where we're going. I am going to Extreme Propulsions to get my sway bar installed. So I've been waiting for this for a while. The sway bar came in a few days ago, earlier this week, but I just wasn't able to get the Riker down to the dealership. Uh, I could have taken it down there in the rain, but the dealership is on my way to work, so it would have been, you know, I just didn't want to, want to, I guess, get the bike dirty, wet, and whatnot if I didn't have to. So today just turned out to be a, a perfect day to get the Riker down there. And hopefully by the time I get off work and uh, pick up the bike, the new bar will be installed and I can, I can uh, talk to you about my first impressions on the uh, sway bar. I, you know, I haven't uh, seen any videos on the uh, OEM sway bar, which is 33% stiffer, and uh, no videos, no, you know, about what it rides like, and uh, and hopefully, hopefully, I can bring you some uh, some of my impressions of what I think about the sway bar. Although the forums, and uh, you know, a lot of you have have texted me on how great the ride is, and I I, I read a lot of comments and. Uh, you know base my decisions on those plus there were there are a couple of forums that I checked online Riker forums spider forums and uh, and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, people there commented that uh, that the sway bar really changed the way the bike handles or or feels and the way it's planted so so I'm looking forward to all of those comments being true and uh, and uh, hopefully this will this will make uh, make the handling a little sharper as it should and also it should uh, you know make it a little bit more planted so I'm truly looking forward to this so never been to this dealership here extreme uh, propulsion and uh, when you look at it from outside it kind of in Cartersville this is this dealerships in Cartersville when you look at it from outside it kind of looks like an old you know old shop that I normally wouldn't enter but when you go inside yeah they've got a nice setup there so very 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 easy people to talk to they've you know they spend about five ten minutes the technician came out, spent about 10 minutes with me answering some of my questions and seems like they're... It seems like they are a little bit cheaper. I don't think their labor rate is going to be that much expensive, but I think they're they're not overcharging you in terms of hours. They're only charging you what, uh, what is uh, needed. So for this install they are charging I believe 240 or 50 dollars and a couple of mountain motorsports I called they they gave me a price of 350 for the labor so these guys are charging pretty much a hundred bucks less so uh, just hope that uh, that everything goes well like I said this is on my way to work so this was a no-brainer to give them a shot um, and it'll be a nice little, you know, a nice little uh, review on how they did here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the bike off, guys, and uh, get back with you as soon as they are done. And then do a quick uh, first ride impression on this. So stay tuned. And uh, the bike will be done uh, in about a few hours, but to you, it's going to just be a second. Mm 
right, so I have uh, picked up my motorcycle and uh, you know it's uh, it what should have been Friday evening is in fact now Tuesday afternoon so I don't know if it's just my bad luck or bad workmanship here I have no idea people are nice I just don't know if they're careless or what it is but anyway so I I go back to pick up my bike on Friday at 4:30, and uh, thought I'd take a picture of the sway bar to put it on Instagram and as as I'm taking the picture I noticed that the sway bar has aesthetic damage on it so you know here and there a few lines here and there I wouldn't care because the road debris will hit it and probably damage it anyway at one point but this damage and I'm put I'll put a picture up here right now So this damage, this is after they try to touch it up with the paint in front of me. Apparently, I don't know if they have a clumsy tech or what, but the way they put the, the bars on, if you look at the picture again, it had three deep scratches where the bare metal was showing. And, uh, and you know that's that was gonna rust so I said this this is unacceptable I paid you full price no discounts I even talked to them I said look man can you guys give me a break on the price at all or no nothing this is how much it cost okay cool well then you know what change the bar I don't want a damaged bar here so so anyway so I told them to change it I mean you know uh, this is so visible how, how are you giving me the bike hoping that I would go away without noticing and then when I come back you'll be like oh it's your fault I mean you know come on I don't know what's going on guys but maybe it's just my bad luck but I gotta tell you I, I, some I don't regret owning the cam -Am, but I'm regretting selling my old BMW bike let me tell you I had a F800 GT and uh, you know their service center is really good Everybody else, like these guys at Mountain Motorsports or anywhere else I've noticed, they are not on par with their service and their customer service as the BMW dealership was. I don't know, maybe they're a bit more harsher. I have no idea. Maybe the Europeans are a bit harsher on, uh, on uh, complaints with their dealers. I have no clue, but it's just disappointing. I mean... And the funny thing is, right now, there are a couple of light scratches on there. I see them. But, I mean, what am I going to do here? I mean, you know, it, it seems, and it's on the same side. So I wanted to inspect and make sure it's not the same bar. They just told me, hey, come pick it up. But there are different scratches on the same side. And I'm like, okay, you know, what can I do here? I can't do anything. So, I mean, it's, it's just, it's, I, I guess it's the way they put it on. But that's really clumsy. I mean, I don't want to leave my bike here for another two, three days and, you know, it's just, uh, I'm not happy with the <coughs> the clumsiness of the work where the bar is damaged. Why is the bar damaged? Why is there even a scratch coming out of your, your service center, you know? I know that it's going to get dinged up. I know it, you know, from the debris on the road. I know it, but I want to do that. <laughs> I don't want you to do that. I want to do that. But anyway, enough ranting, enough ranting. How does the bike feel? My initial impression is it uh, it feels it definitely feels more stiffer. Not a whole lot as I was expecting, which is a good thing by the way, because I was expecting the worst. I was expecting that oh my god, is is gonna make the bike even more uh, stiffer and the ride's gonna be uncomfortable and. A lot of people were telling me that uh, that's not going to be the case along with the tech here that came out and have a chat with me so yeah so the dealership the guys are really nice they'll answer every single question I had I just think they're a little clumsy when it comes to their work but anyway uh, <clears throat> so immediately the first turn I felt the bike was a little bit stiffer in the corner which is a which is good which is what I wanted to begin with is the bike to be 
a little bit stiffer in the corner and that's what I got so that's cool uh, so I haven't you know I just got straight on the highway so you know the funny thing is you know the funny thing is I am noticing a lot less dartiness left to right now I don't want to speak too soon you know but I am noticing that the bike is you know I just passed a truck there you know traffic you look around there's decent traffic and you know it's, it's just it's not particularly windless today in Atlanta it's, it's a little windy you know typical July or just reaching July you know you have sunny days and then stormy afternoons so trying to race home before before it rains on me but but yeah so I do feel that dartiness is a little less it's still happening but I feel it is not as pronounced as before and what I mean is like this this movement right here that used to happen on a regular basis I'm not noticing that a whole lot so, so I, that's that's a change I'm noticing now like I said this is just my initial impression this is just me picking up the bike from from the dealership and going home now I do feel the dartiness is there I'm crossing this car and truck and you know I get stuck in their wake and I do notice the dartiness there many of you mentioned this in the comments too but it does that all the time and it used to happen just all the time and you know you do these little micro adjustments you know left right left right and uh, and you know it just kind of became second nature I guess you know but I notice here that it's it's only doing it 30% of the time if that and that's just a guess here 30% of the time if that and I also noticed that uh, that it wants to dart but then it you know it, it doesn't do it, it starts but then it stops immediately so it's not like it does it does a whole lot of left and right it wants to it wants to dart because of the wind like the wind hits me it wants to dart but then it stops uh, it does it about 10 20 percent and then it stops and it's so that's that's a big difference I mean that's that's actually a big positive positive change so I like that I mean I'm still I'm still getting left and right here on the bike but if without the sway bar it would be going a lot more I don't know if I'm able to explain this to you guys or not but tardiness just like how the sway bar is supposed to stiffen stiffen the stiffen uh, the suspension up by 33 and a half percent I feel just just because of the sway bar I feel like the dartiness has also stopped by X number of percent I don't know what that percent could be uh, accurately of course uh, but if I had to take a guess it has taken care of half of that dartiness because by this time I would have been you know going left and right left and right like I'm crossing this truck and and I'm, I'm pretty com pretty comfortable it was, it, this is what I'm this is uh, the first thing that I notice on the highway and also if I had to do a quick emergency lane change wow look at that this thing is pretty planted but without the sway bar though I'll tell you without the sway bar I'd be scared of just doing this at 65 miles an hour the left and right so so yes yeah, so I, I, I can I can definitely say initial initial impressions are good especially on the highway because because see like when you go in and you do this on the highway you know how you do with a bike left and right you do this on the highway let me tell you something you better be wearing brown pants otherwise you're you know because once you shit your pants it's gonna really show so so yeah so this whole thing right here oh my god this thing is like wow yeah this thing is is definitely more planted yeah initial impressions I do like the suspension it definitely is doing its job I'm just uh, yeah sorry about the rant guys I I get a little upset you know I mean I don't know how you guys are but when you pay four hundred dollars for something you know and you get it back which is even a little bit damaged tell me that you're not gonna question the dealership and say what the heck is this you know and ask them to fix it or, or change it I mean I don't want to sound like like I am uh, a very picky guy and, and you know even if I am why shouldn't I be picky it's my money I'm spending 
you know, it, it takes me a long time to earn the $400 and it takes, compared to the second it takes to go ahead and swipe my card and, and, and spend that money. So yeah, why, why shouldn't I, why shouldn't I be a little picky? And you should too. Now, when I say picky, I don't mean you should be unreasonable. You know, I can't wait to take it to the twisties because right here, when I'm doing this whole left-right thing right here, I gotta tell you, without the sway bar, I would stop or I wouldn't be able to do it this, the, like, you know, this much. I would be able to do it maybe 10, 20 percent, or you know what, 33 per and a half percent less. But yes, look at this. Look how planted this thing is. I like it. Yeah, I mean, I can just test it like this, you know, go left and right. And before, before you get the sway bar, if you just do this, go left and right with your uh, regular, you know, before the sway bar. And then when you get the sway bar and do this, that's when you'll in instantly know the difference of how well this thing is planted. So anyway, guys, I'm, you know what, I'm, I'm really sorry, guys, if I, if I end up getting a little bit upset maybe my expectations are a bit too high and I need to lower them but I'm just saying you know when you spend 400 bucks you expect you expect you know expect some uh, that the work workmanship is gonna reflect that you know but no you know and uh, it's unfortunate and the funny thing is I'm about to post a picture on Instagram with the new one and look at it it's still gonna be scratched so anyway uh, I do appreciate you guys uh, joining me here and uh, please hit the like button hit subscribe if you have any questions ask me I'm looking forward for this rainy season to go away so I can write this and actually bring a proper review of how it uh, it uh, handled on the uh, uh, you know during uh, in the curves so that would be really cool so guys I appreciate it until next time be safe